I was the victim here. The Constitution of the United States of America guarantees my ability to believe and exercise my religious beliefs. I was robbed of that by my commander. My commander was upset and she asked me directly. She said, Sergeant Monk, in order to serve as my first sergeant, I, I gotta know if you can see discrimination when it's apparent. So isn't it true, Sergeant Monk, that if someone states their opposition to same-sex marriage or homosexuality, that that is in fact discrimination? And I said, ma'am, I have a religious conviction that's not going to allow me to answer that, the question the way you want me to. I was risking giving up pension, being sanctioned by the mil you know, by superior. Um, I was risking everything that I've worked for, my entire life work, since I joined the service right after high school. That all of that would be at risk. I think those are severe consequences for simply sharing your faith as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. I had no choice. I can't violate what's written on my heart. I can't do that. There is a, a culture of fear. I've seen it. It creates a culture where nobody is sharing. So when somebody does sh share, it's abnormal, right? And so when there's something abnormal, then there must be a problem. And so it must be dealt with. After my experience, you know, there was members of my unit that were texting me, Sergeant Monk, I'm praying for you. And they would, they would send me um, Bible verses to, to read and say, stay strong. I had no idea that they were believers. Right now, as a Christian, we don't share our faith because the landscape, it's just too, there's too much trouble associated with it. I think it's, it's kind of interesting that that's the first core value of the Air Force. Integrity first. Doing the right thing, no matter the cost. The right thing to do is often the most difficult thing to do, right? And certainly, the right thing to do ain't always the easiest thing for your career. But we weren't called to do was easiest for our career. I wasn't called for that. I'm called to do the right thing, no matter the circumstance.